Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about high-end makeup, and I'm going to share five products that I think are worth the price and five that I don't think are worth the price. So I wanted to film this video because I love drugstore makeup, and I feel like these days drugstore makeup has gotten so much better that you can really find some very high quality products at an affordable price. And I don't think everything is worth the splurge. And that's why I've done a lot of other videos in the past talking about buy this, not that, where I share kind of dupes and alternatives for more expensive products. But in this video, I'm gonna break down some that I do think are worth the splurge. And then some where I think maybe you could save a little bit of money. So all 10 products that I'm gonna feature today are all sold at Sephora. So it kind of is like, five products that are and are not worth it at Sephora also, but they're all high-end pricey products, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start with the ones that I do think are worth the price. We'll start on a happy note, or should we go back and forth? Uh, let's go back and forth, actually. So we still will start with a happy one. First of all, this is sold at Sephora, and this is such a unique product. This is from Ciate London. It is their Dewy Stick. So the reason that I wanted to include this in this video is because I have not been able to find any sort of a dupe for this. Now, there are other cream highlighters, yes, but none that kind of work in this formula. So with this, it just is like wet on the skin. I don't even know how well it'll pick up on camera because it is just such a subtle product. So I don't necessarily think this is gonna be worth the splurge for everyone, but if you are a no makeup makeup lover and you wanna look like you're not really wearing makeup, you wanna look like you just got done from the gym, you have a little bit of a glow going on, this is the type of product that'll give you that where it's almost like She's a little sweaty, but also in just like this really glowy way. And nothing about this looks artificial. Like there's no detectable shimmer or glitter. Like it really, I don't want to say it's like an oil, but it's kind of like an oil, but it's stickier. It'll stay in one place. So I don't think it's for everyone, but if that is your makeup aesthetic, I think this is worth the price because I truly have not found anything else that I think is similar. Like, yeah, there are other cream highlighters that kind of look lit from within, but they all still have this reflective property, whereas this is like a dewy wet formula. So I just think this is such a unique product that if you're into this style of makeup, it's totally worth the price. Also, would you guys like to see a video about no makeup makeup products? Because I've kind of had that on my maybe too film list for a while, but I don't know if there'd be a lot of interest in that, but let me know down below if you would want an entire video dedicated to products where they kind of look really subtle. You can't really tell you're wearing makeup. If that's your style or if that's a video you'd be interested in, please let me know down below. But the first one that I don't think is worth the price is one I'm gonna throw a photo of on the screen because I used this up uh, two years ago, I think. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. So this product actually came about when I was doing my Ulta Top Rated video. And I am gonna have a part two for that video coming pretty soon. It might be this week, if not next week. And in that video, I picked out some of the top rated products at Ulta and I shared what my rating would be. And for this one, I rated it a little bit lower or quite a bit lower than what Ulta rated it. And I said right in the video that I do think it's a good product, but I wouldn't pay the price for it. I mean, yeah, I bought it once, but I wouldn't buy it again. Because while it smells fantastic and you know it's hydrating, I don't think it goes much beyond that as a makeup primer. I mean, it just, it's truly a water. And I think if you're into that luxury feeling and you like that kind of extra step, maybe it'll be worth it to you. But personally, I didn't find that the result that I saw from this was significant enough to justify the price tag. And for me, it kind of performed like a water. And I do think that if you're looking for this type of product, you can use some other setting sprays, like maybe a more glowy setting spray or hydrating setting spray and use it as your primer, whether it's high-end or drugstore. So I think you can kind of find an alternative to this. And I think the price is pretty high for what it is and in my experience, what it does. Next one that's worth the price. And again, I think this is worth the price if this is your makeup style. So this is maybe not as no makeup makeup-y as the one I just shared, but if you're not into cream products, this doesn't apply to you. But if you like cream products, the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. So, one thing I will say about this though, while I do think it's worth the price, I would actually still recommend the mini because this product, you will never run out of product here. So you get one ounce of product. So if you are looking at this thinking, you know, it's gonna be my everyday bronzer, go for the full size. But if it's something you think you'll use consistently, but it may not be the only bronzer you're focusing on, buy the mini. Either way, I do think it's worth the price because you get so much product here and you don't use a lot. I would screw this up, but sometimes it doesn't go back down. Sometimes I have to like shove it back down and it, 
I don't want to break this, but this is such a great cream product. And I've heard from so many people that don't typically like creams that had a really good experience with this. I'm wearing it today. I have, I mean, other cheek products on, but this is kind of like the main, the first one that I applied. I like to apply it with a brush. I dip my brush right into the product and then stipple it into the skin. That's how I find that I get the best result. Some people draw it on, some people use their sponge, use their finger, like there's no wrong way to do it. And I think that if you're into cream products, this is such a high value for one ounce if you think you'll use the whole thing. If not, buy the mini. Either way, totally worth the price. Not worth the price. I'm a little scared to mention this, but the Stila Glitter and Glows, okay? So I have some minis here. Here's the reason I think they're not worth the price. Don't get mad. Don't get mad yet. Wait till I <laughs> hear me out. I think two years ago they were worth the price, but in 2020, don't, don't pay full price for these. First of all, you can find some of them at TJ Maxx, which... Uh, sometimes I'm hesitant about buying products from TJ Maxx, but you might, you can find them there. But there are so many dupes. When these first hit the market, they were such a unique product that I do think they were worth the price if you are a glitter wearing person. <laughs> what? But the alternatives have gotten so high quality that they pretty much match this. For me, my favorite dupe for these is from Pixie. Now here's the thing. The Pixie ones are not that that cheap. These are $15 and kind of when you break down the value, they're pretty similar in value. But I think you have to ask yourself, how often are you going to use glitter? Are you going to use the whole thing? And if you're not, I would really just go with the Pixie one. I've also heard that the CoverGirl ones are really good. ELF just came out with some. So because there are so many alternatives out there, I hesitate to recommend these, even though I think these are really great. But the formulas and kind of the dupes are just getting so much better that for the price of these and based on the amount of times that the average person wears glitter, I would probably not pay the high-end price tag for these unless you're like i wear glitter every single day i'm going to use the entire product up i love the formula then i think it's worth it but for the average person i would find a dupe next product that i think is worth the price is a lipstick so the vice lipsticks from urban decay this is one of my favorite actually it is my favorite lipstick formula now here's the thing I do think there are other formulas that compare to this. I think the $3 ones from e.l.f. are pretty similar. Like you can find alternatives for this if you didn't want to spend the price on it. Now, I think for any products in this video, if you can find an alternative and that fits better in your budget, go with that. But that being said, I still think these are worth it because here's the thing about a lipstick. This will last you forever. I think a lipstick is a good investment. Now, obviously there's a lot of factors there thinking about how many you have, if you will use the whole thing up, but this is my favorite shade. This is Stark Naked. I've worn this so many times and I still have such a significant amount of the lipstick left. Like you're getting your money's worth out of it versus maybe a liquid lipstick. Those are harder for me to splurge on because I know that a liquid lipstick is going to dry up. I feel like I just don't get as much use out of them, but you will get your entire money, your entire money's worth out of a bullet lipstick. And this formula in my experience, is the most comfortable. I love the Comfort Matte ones. They last, they go on well, you get good opacity out of them. They don't dry your lips out, even the matte formula. So can we go back to this swatch on my hand? By the way, this is just a stain, but this, like it's still just so dewy and wet. It's just, you kind of look like that beautiful sweaty glow. Sticking with lip products, not worth the price, I'm gonna say is this lip gloss from Becca. So the glow glosses, first of all, again, these have been popping up at TJ Maxx a lot. Now, the ones that I've been seeing there are like the more limited edition shades. I don't think I've seen any of the permanent shades at TJ Maxx, but I have the shade Rose Gold, and don't get me wrong, I like this. I think that this is good, and if you are looking for like a treat yourself lip gloss, you're like, hey, I've got a gift card. I'm gonna treat myself. I think I'm gonna love this. I love the way it looks. I love the luxury of it. Go for it. But if you are just looking for a good lip gloss, like trust me, there are others. And this is one of the more expensive high-end lip gloss formulas. And it's good, it's thin, it's comfortable. And I think, again, if you have the money and you wanna splurge, go for it. But if you're just looking for a good lip gloss, the Persona Cosmetics lip glosses are about $10 cheaper than this, and I like the formula even more. Milani makes a good lip gloss formula. The e.l.f. lip glosses are really good. I just, I feel like lip gloss is a product that you don't necessarily have to splurge on. Like, you can find really great ones at the drugstore. Worth the splurge. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, okay? So many people love this concealer, myself included. Now, don't get me wrong. I think there are a lot of alternatives, and if you want to save the money, the CoverGirl one is fantastic, and so is the Milani one. Both of those could be considered dupes for this, but the reason that I'm featuring it in this video is because the value is fantastic here. Like, this has a higher value than most drugstore concealers because you're getting half a fluid ounce of product, 
This I've had for a long time and I've used it so much and I still have a lot of product left. So if you are looking to get your money's worth out of a concealer, this is the way to go. Like I know it's a splurge, but it's not like some other high-end concealers where you're getting like 0.2 ounces, 0.1 something ounces of product. This is almost, this is the size of half a foundation. So it's gonna last you a long time. I think it's worth the splurge. All right, this next one, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. If you love this, I think you should buy it. And I know that some people are gonna strongly disagree with me. Like, no, Kelly, this is worth the splurge. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. So I had the shade Diffused Light. I bought a mini of it and I've used it up completely. So I have a pretty good idea of my thoughts on this. I've used the entire thing. This is a good powder. And a lot of people have told me that this is a powder that maybe I would like more down the road. Maybe when, one day when I have a little bit more mature skin. So I think that's a factor. But in my experience, this is just a powder. Don't get mad at me. It's a powder that's like not super matte. And for me, I have a dupe for it, which I shared in another video. The Milani Prep Set and Glow, not the same product at all because this is more of your baked formula. This is more of a traditional powder, but they both give that kind of glowy powder look where you're gonna set everything down without looking powdery and without looking too matte. So if you're looking to achieve that, you can find a more affordable option. And I know for some people, this is your holy grail, but it's such an expensive product. I mean, just the mini was $22. The full size is in the high 40s. So I'm just here to say, if that's outside your budget, don't worry because I don't think it's worth it. Don't get mad at me. And the last product to mention that is worth the price, the foundation I'm wearing today, one of my all-time favorite foundations, you know, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, I love the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. But the reason that I'm including it, kind of like the Too Faced concealer, this is a lot of bang for your buck, you guys. You are getting 1.6 fluid ounces of foundation. That is more than one and a half times the amount in, an, in a regular foundation. And this is one of the more affordable high-end foundations. Kind of sounds like an oxymoron. But it's the one I'm wearing today. I'll get a lot of questions on my shade. I have warm nude, but it's too dark for me. So I mix it with a white foundation to lighten it up. One thing I'll note about this, it has fragrance. I wish it didn't. Like, please, Too Faced, I know you're not watching this, but if you could formulate this without fragrance, it would change my life. So it smells like a peach, and I just, I really don't like to put fragrance. It's not on my skin. It's not good for your skin. So because of that, I don't necessarily wear it like every single day, even though I love the finish of it. But the value is definitely here if you're looking. Okay, okay, I keep talking about value in this video, but I do feel like I keep needing to mention that that value is only there if you're gonna use the whole product up. Like if you never finish foundations, the value is probably not here for you. But if you do, you're getting a lot of foundation here. $36, which most high-end foundations start at 40, creep up quite a bit. So I think this is definitely worth the money. Final product, not worth the money. I know I had two Becca products that might not worth the money, but trust me, so many products from Becca, I do think are worth the money, like the highlighters, the bronzer. Becca makes great products, but this one, this used to be like a cult favorite product. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Why do I have to look at the name? I know what this is called. Actually, probably a good thing I looked at it because I always get the backlight and the first light mixed up. I always want to say the wrong thing. The first light is the purple one and the backlight is the shimmery one. Here's the thing. I like this. I think this is a good product. It does make a really beautiful base for products. The reason I threw it into my not worth the price category is first of all, it's very expensive. Also, primer is just one of those extra steps. I don't think it makes or breaks a makeup routine. It just kind of takes it to the next level. And the thing about this product is you really have to be wearing a foundation that has a coverage level that will work with this. So sometimes I'll watch videos and I'll see someone apply this and then go in with this extreme full coverage foundation. And at that point, it's taking away any of the luminous benefits that you got from this product. And while I like this, and I think it's very good for what it is, like I wouldn't give this a bad score, but it's hard for me to say that it's worth the price tag when there are affordable alternatives to this. The Physicians Formula One is so similar. They have an illuminating, the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. That might be a touch more glittery, but honestly, when I put that on and put foundation over top, I get the same result. So because this is so pricey, I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe the mini, that might be a better value, but, but that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. Those are five products that I think are worth the price and five that I don't necessarily think are worth the price. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.